Yeah, that's really nice. Hi, I'm Don Dan from SampleLibraryReview.com, and today I'm going to be checking out the brand new Vienna Smart Spheres from Vienna Symphonic Library. For this uh, library, Vienna went straight to their source, taking a huge collection of organic and acoustic samples and applying the powerful new integrated effects that they have in their Synchron player. Vienna Smart Spheres downloads as 5.94 gigabytes. It's a hybrid sound design instrument from a sample set of orchestral and acoustic sounds. These raw orchestral samples have been sound designed into pads, basses, pulses, plucks, leads, all in a multitude of presets for you to use. For the library, the mod wheel controls a sonic manipulator that's already been tied to the preset. Library loads into the Synchron player, which is included with the purchase of the library and does require the Vienna key or a USB E licensor. Smart Spheres normally sells for 125 euros. At the time of putting this together, it was on a special intro price till January 31st for 85 euros. It's also available as a bundle, I believe, with the Vienna Smart Orchestra, looking at the promo material. I'll include a link to take you straight over to a product page on Vienna, as well as probably one of our partners that sells it as well. This is going to be a first look video. I really uh, wanted to dig in and share what I could right away about the uh, Smart Spheres library. So I have only loaded it up, made sure it plays, and um, yeah, we're going to be checking it out for the first time together here. As you can see, we've got uh, multi presets, pads, bases. Plucks, pulses, and leads. Um, let's just go ahead and start at the top. I'll just randomly play through until we get a little better idea of what the library offers. Let's see what it loads up with here. Very nice. That's the heavenly pad that it loads up with. And um, it looks like there's a control here that's synced to the mod wheel. You saw I was playing it. It's on CC1. And it's switching between, uh, it looks like sample sets, between heavenly pad and heavenly pad distorted. So here's the distorted one. And then back down all the way. It should be the heavenly pad. I can hear a little bit of uh, maybe some chorus in there as well as some manipulation. So you could definitely tell it's changing samples there. If you're not familiar with the Synchron player, well, I, uh, I've only used it once for the uh, Vienna Smart Orchestra Library. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm not a master of it, uh, but I do know how these key switches work. And I'm going to just kind of listen to some of the pads first by using key switches, go into the dark organ. You can really hear the difference between that, uh, going from the, the dark organ to this nervous dark organ. And just by the nature of fading from one sample to the next and kind of curating which sample sets, which effect sets maybe are you being used, you can kind of get a feel for how you could use this to build organically, not just in uh, not just in holding a chord down, but also slowly evolve it over time. Here's the stormy pad. <laughs> And 
And that was me playing with the mod wheel, as well as that bit to jump over. Here's a crystal lead. Then we got a tremolo pad. It's a percussive sample set up here. Go ahead and start with the uh, first ones, steel mallets. And then the mod wheel take us to Yeah, nice difference, and you can kind of get the crossfade between the two. And some bell mallets. Yeah, these have a real gong quality to them. That's really nice. Yeah, these these uh, are just really neat. The way they the way they've curated the two different um, samples together has a nice quality. And frozen mallets. Luck pads with a Spain attack. And now let's go ahead and move on. Check out these uh, base presets. Just start with the base pad. This is really nice because it's a subtle difference between the base pad and the base pad fat. It's a kind of subtlety, I think, in um, scene scoring. That could really make a difference. And then a, a distorted bass setup. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's got a nice, uh, oh, some kind of a, a big metal bowl. All right. I'm starting to get a feel for uh, the uh, ease of use as far as jumping into the presets. And this is just the multi presets I'm listening to first off. Um, those were the original smart samples with no effects. Now we're going into the Delay Inferno. I'm just going to play through the same. Looks like we got the same sample sets, probably with just a different set of parameters for our effects. in this delay here. I'm currently at 120 BPMs. And I just whacked it down to 83. So just to verify in real time that our delay and effects in Synchron that are being used on this Delay Inferno is synced to our tempo because you could totally hear it go nuts when I started playing with the tempo in my DAW there. Back to 120. One thing I do like about um, the player and this sample set that I normally probably uh, would be used to in contact libraries is the minute I switch samples, do a new key switch or load up a new preset, it would just cut the sound out. So I can perform something fun with uh, these percussion samples like... You see, I've, I've played multiple percussive samples with those delays uh, over each other, and it never just cuts or jumps out, um, which is really nice. Let's move along. Let's check out uh, the next. I think you just double click, spaced out. There's something really nice about this um, pad instrument thus far. It reminds me, reminds me of um, the ability to pull up one sample set, one instrument, have a little bit of control, but still put something nice, cinematic, and expressive throughout. So I'm assuming with the uh, spaced what we're hearing really is just a um, big old mix in the verb.
on to these filters. Very organy, as you'd expect from the organ patch. Move on to the phased. Got uh, some pretty whacked out modulation for the phase effects. jump in and check out some of the individual presets those are just the multis so uh it looks like we've got um I clicked one too many. It's not what I'm, oh my goodness. I'm really throwing this off. Let's just listen to the pre presets here. And again, these have uh, different uh, effects tied to the mod wheel for That's nice. It's got this little bit of tuning going on with the uh, tie to the mod wheel parameters. You can see it's going up and down just a tiny bit. Yeah, no matter what I play that one, it sounds out of tune, but that's kind of the beauty of having so much sound design. some of the bases. You 
so you got the mod wheel tied to um, that tuning as well as your volume return. It sounds like it's going through a phaser possibly. It's really cool. I love that how you just have the um, light, medium, and strong settings, uh, and you can really hear how much it develops. And I didn't even play with the filter. Let's go to strong, play with the uh, filter and the send returns. Nice. So you got the, the nice rounded base, and then as soon as you bring up that attack, you get a real percussive attack. Another one I'm loving. These are these are some great some great sound design. Let's move on to some pulses. And I'm at 120. I'm going to change my tempos so we can verify some tempo syncing. Yep. Now I'm at 100. Now I'm at 135. Got a nice kind of backwards reverse kind of pulse to that one. That's really fun with a constant pulse in that one for the bass. You could roll off your high end and then roll it back on, get a very different um, attack.
So depending on our mod wheel, we're going to get a much harder pluck or a muted pluck. More of a pits there. More of a struck like Bartok there. <laughs> yeah, that's really fun. Kind of a, a roll. that one as well. Another one that uh, has that fun tuning, you know, anytime you can do that kind of tuning uh, overlaid on that bowed cymbal, just adds a lot of life. Really like this lead. This is not normally something I would be excited about. It could be because I've been adding so much little EDM flavor in a lot of my works for commercials recently. And that's just seems like something I'm going to have to remember. I'm going new AG on you guys. <laughs> Until I use Mod Wheel. I'm really pleased with this. I think there's some really nice sound design. There's some stuff that's more melodically playable than there's stuff that is kind of one note, kind of atmospheric that can, you can really uh, draw and evolve into tension, especially with the way they've set up the mod wheel to um, either adjust those parameters like that tuning or fading between one sample set and the next to give you even more intensity. Uh, I'm really pleased with it. I think there's going to be some spots for me to use this right away. Um, and probably the biggest surprise is, I think, how much I'll be able to use this across 
multiple genres. I can see myself using this for scene scoring, if I got any film or TV projects, but I also see this as being something I could use for some trailer ambiences, textures and atmospheres, as well as some poppy EDM stuff for the commercial work I do. Uh, overall for the asking price, I feel like they have a really nice collection. and I didn't even begin to get into the amount of uh, controls you have as far as um, editing your expression, your ADSR controls for your, for your mix and getting in there and really tweaking it out on your own. I'll be sure to include a link to take you to the sample library review Vienna Smart Spheres page below if you want to see any other official videos for not only the instrument but the Synchron player. And I'll have some demos and any other review videos I might find around the web when I get this published. Always appreciate you spending a little time uh, checking out instruments with me. Love to hear your thoughts, comment below, like, share, and subscribe. Love your support. And be sure to head over to samplelibraryreview.com for the latest news, reviews, and our weekly deals page. Mm-hmm.